committed, more patient player that waits for his openings more so than trying to force them. And I think in this matchup, it's going to be um, whoever's like left hand, so to speak, is stronger. Mm -hmm. If Bobby can reel it back just a little bit, or Vis can like push it just a little bit more than he usually does, I think that player's going to have an advantage because yeah. they they know each other a little bit. Like right, right. anyone from NBVA knows that both these players play like this, and a lot of players like throughout the East Coast or like the country know how these people play. Mm -hmm. So it's really about um, bringing like what you don't necessarily like like to do naturally and using that to your advantage as well. Yeah. Okay. Putting up the wall. Looks yeah. Like Bobby's reeling it back just a little bit. Yeah, smartly. It's going to help a lot against a character. Oh, like Luigi. Catches Viz slipping a little bit there. Okay. Oh, great timing on that wave dash in down smash from Viz. Just punished that aerial. Gets a grab. Nice platform tech chase. Covers yeah. two options. Yeah. Double backer. Barely co uh, covered the roll as well, but made it happen. Ooh. Ooh. Snuck back in there. Yeah, tricky wave land. Yeah. Like a circle jump kind of. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Tried to go for the power shield in an air combo. Not quite a combo. Yeah, so we saw Vist was able to reflect via power shield a lot of icicles earlier. I guess he can do it without lasers too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a dangerous Oof. one. It's up smash. Can he make it back? No, not at all. Nope. Way so. too far. This evening it back up. Oh, but unfortunate right there. The SD. This time, Bobby does not go for the homie stock to invincibility combo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he he's like, I probably need this stock a bit more than I did against the Brig, honestly. Yeah. Okay, how is Vist get down? Luigi lacking the aerial mobility. Looks like he just slowly works his way around the stage rather than coming straight down. Yeah. Which is kind of, it's tempting as Luigi to use that air, use that down air, and try to just immediately make yourself uh, down to the ground level where you can move a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think it's very wise of Vist to sort of maneuver around slowly. Yeah. And then, you know, occasionally you can just drop right down to the, the main stage. Mm -hmm. That being said, though, Bobby's been doing a great job of just kind of being ready for those surprise approaches. Vist has managed to find his way in a couple times, but overall, Bobby definitely doing a great job. Oh, this could be bad. That's okay. what, what I was talking about is natural instinct, just attack. <laughs> Didn't, doesn't always work out, especially when you're playing someone whose like, natural state is poised. Just right. like waiting at the top of the mountain for you to arrive so he can toss you back off. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I'll see Luigi's, uh, first off, a lot of them charge their tornado as soon as they come back. Yeah. Second off, a lot of them come right to the ground because ending your invincibility on a platform, not always great. I guess right. maybe what he's expecting was Bobby to try to retreat to the plats. Yeah, so he maybe was, he's waiting for him up there. So he's ready to like hit him with some sort of counterattack. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Falcos love jumping when uh, you're invincible. Yeah. Okay. Especially like jump above the top platform, double jump. Yeah, yeah. Right, this is... Mountain, a little baby comeback here. He's got to find this kill pretty soon. Yeah, his hits have definitely been more meaningful. Oof. Oof. Nice little two-piece. And, oh, could have definitely edge hogged. But expected Bobby to go just a little bit higher with that side B. Mm -hmm. It looked like he let go a little bit before the Phantasm started. And Luigi's mm -hmm. just not quick enough to come back down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Finds a straight air into the forward air. Can he finish the edge guard this time? And then this time, Bobby does go a little bit higher. Yeah. And Vis trying to cover the edge that time. So. Yeah. To Bobby's credit, it looks like he's. Oh, Oof. I thought he was gonna. He was gonna dare him for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> he had the right idea. He just slightly, uh, slightly too late. Yeah. Bobby walling him out. Down airs where the wave dash would be. This sneaks his way in. Yeah, finally gets that kill. And really? Bobby's got to be careful here, but he goes right to the edge. Okay. Yeah, there's some really high percent stocks for a Falco Luigi match. And that's, uh, I mean, the reason Bobby is winning. Right. <laughs> Just plain and simple. Yeah. Okay. And wow, not quite. Just enough drift. And Luigi has like none coming back, but mm -hmm. just enough. One more shot here for Vist. Can he find an opening? Definitely. Does not. Yeah, definitely a good trade. Yeah. Yeah, credit to Bobby on the recoveries. It seems like he's almost reacting to whether or not Luigi uh, is on the ledge or like chooses to stay on the stage a little bit longer. Because it yeah. seems like he almost picked those side V heights right, like right. after after seeing what Vis was setting up. Yeah, after the hand was already shown. Mm -hmm. And the way uh, Falco's Phantasm works, uh, if you do it just right, you know how a lot of the times you can sort of you can hit 
and it just sort of like goes through it anyway. It like sort of planks with it, and he gets on stage safely. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like he's uh, pretty prepared for how to come back against the region. Definitely. That, and that was a huge difference in that game one. Um, that being said, though, FD, um, it's, it's really funny how different matchups can be that a character might actually counterpick the same stage that a different character would take them to, as we saw yeah. <laughs> with, uh, you know, Icy's taken Vist here earlier, and now Vist has taken Bobby here. Um, but it makes sense. Luigi has such a strong punish game on Spacey's on FD. Yeah, and you know, um, it's really a good counter pick for him for that exact reason, because we did not see the most explosive openings from Vist. Only a couple times yeah. did he get really, like, stock-ending combos. It mm -hmm. took him a few hits to get anything done. Definitely. Okay. Oh, and Bobby. Beautiful, but... Reads roll yeah. away. Oh, and... <sighs> not have to get up. Yeah, it could have just stayed on the edge there. And you would think for having played, you know, seven sets this season against Fist, he would he would have uh, made that adjustment by now. Just know that Luigi cannot get really any horizontal distance after the upbeat. Yeah. Seven tournaments. This is the 14th tournament and the eighth time they're playing. They play more than half the tournaments they go That's to crazy. around here. That's a lot. Yeah, definitely two players who are familiar with each other. Vist getting on the board first here in game two, which is great news for him since this is his counter pick. Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Yep. Could have just grabbed the ledge, but uh, Bobby's definitely, uh, I'm going to hit him one more time, guy. Yeah, absolutely. Doesn't look like he likes to go for that edge hog too often. Wow, up air is brave because it looks like that Nair might have been able to break it up. Luigi's love coming out down with Nair. Yeah. As soon as they get out of hits, they're just mashing it. Bobby definitely pretty comfortable in the matchup overall. I noticed a minute ago he jumped just to bait an aerial out of this and then landed and then punished right after the aerial ended. So smart stuff. That's a great tool against Luigi in general, regardless of what character you are. Because as Luigi's are falling on top of you, they're almost always going to put out an air or something like that. So you kind of just faint like you're going to be in the air below them. Yeah. And then just land, wait for the aerial to run out, and punish. Yeah, a lot of times it's an up tilt for somebody like Falco or something else. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I noticed about both these players? When they are on the edge in the danger zone, they make it back to, like, actual neutral a lot. Like, yeah. even Vist. And that's, like, really hard to get past Falco's wall. Right. It looks like Vist knows how to wait just a couple iterations. I think it's usually two. <laughs> of um, Bobby's, like, walling aerials. Uh -huh. And then, like, slide his way back in when Bobby, like, you know, tries to extend all the way to the edge. Right. So they're both really good at getting themselves out of uh, a hard place. Oh, and actually saves Vista, I believe, although Luigi does have crazy aerial drift, so he might have been able to aerial drift back to the stage. Yeah, aerial but like floatiness. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and oh, wave dash back would have got yeah. him a grab or a down smash. Yeah, it could have been a lot there for Vist. Big miscue. Yeah, that actually kind of hurts. Because that's like, Definitely. that like is, goes from even to the lead. Like just playing the lead. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Finds another opening there. And not able to get the edge guard again. Uh, this has not been super on point with the edge guards overall. Obviously, credit to Bobby for mixing up his recovery very well and making it difficult for Viz, but that being said, if, if yeah. Luigi does have an advantage against Falco, it's definitely in the edge guarding department. Some of them I think were really doable too. Like that last side B, he grabbed the edge, and then I think he could have just jumped fair or jumped there to at least do a lot of damage and knock him across the stage again. Yeah. This I time though, Viz does clean up the edge guard. Mm -hmm. Smartly waits on stage. Viz has been covering the edge a lot, so I think it was smart of him to be ready for Bobby to come straight on stage there. And almost exclusively Phantasms. We've seen, like, no Firebird recoveries. Yeah, that was, like, the first one a second ago. So. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, gets the pop-up. Oh, and actually able to follow up. That's, again, the beauty of FD for Luigi. Knocking a character that far away usually means you get no follow-up, but Luigi is one of the few characters that can get the distance necessary to do so. Ooh, sure you can! And this <laughs> ending with style. Yeah, Bobby actually like showed a lot of physical discomfort during the last stock from like that first <laughs> down smash. Like he actually was squirming in pain. <laughs> I hope he's all right. Is this attachment to your character? Yeah. That would. Can you imagine if there was like some kind of contraption you like wear and you like <laughs> feel all the pain your characters feel? Like I feel a, like like, like Yu-Gi-Oh or something. When you take an attack, <laughs> they're like ah. 
people would be playing a lot safer, I think. <laughs> yeah. If that was the case. A fun exercise, just imagine it long enough. Maybe Maybe not Bobby though. I could see Bobby just going in the same amount. Also like suicide kills probably a little more rare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kamikaze kills, I guess, is a better term for. <laughs> um alright, so Yoshi's um but this one's starting off much better for Vist than game one did. It looked like uh, Vist was baiting like a shield drop. Mm -hmm. like, he went up there and slid off in a very interesting way that I bet only Luigi can really pull off to that effectiveness. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, that upward angle forward tilt. Forward smash, trying to read action out of shield. Instead, he is met with empty space. Mm -hmm. Yep, lots of walling aerials, and then Vist finds his way out again. This time, it seems like especially on Yoshi's with the lower platform. When he sees the walling aerials, he knows that he can occasionally get out by wave landing off the side platforms. Right. He's in that launch pad just like he was in the Icy's matchup. Oh, crazy power shield. Think about Luigi is he's still moving when he power shields because he's so slippery. Yeah. He's such a low traction character. Ooh. It's the forward air. And again. Not quite ready for that edge guard. Maybe he has to, at least on Yoshi's, maybe he has to delay grabbing the edge a little bit. Like, wait until there's a certain range. Because at that point, like, there's no way Bobby's getting to the edge without dropping a little bit lower. Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe until at least when they're level with the side platform, so they don't have that option anymore. Mm -hmm. Then you're not playing, like, like that's a 33% instead of a 50% yeah. success rate, probably. Yeah. That being said, Bobby definitely has been picking the right option a lot oh, on his yeah. recoveries. His recovery's been stellar. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Bobby trying to make the read of the century. <laughs> I wanted the roll. I did. <laughs> but you know, Vis actually has not been rolling a lot. Yeah. Hardly at all. He almost always will wait a little bit, and then uh, it really is whether he's going to go over top of the platforms or come underneath on the ground to get back in. Down smash to re-grab. Oof. Okay. Yeah, tries to get a little combo going. He's a little late on the up air, and so Bobby's able to slide off and get a back air KO. Yep. Nicely done for Bobby. This building a little bit of lead there, though, with the juicy little combo he had. Just the the, the airdrop nair from Vist ends up putting him in this position. Mm -hmm. Oof. And Weird trade. Very interesting trade, yeah. Works out. Beautifully for Vist. Yeah, somehow it was a reverse too. Yeah. That that's the part I really kept. Yeah, that was that was definitely not where it looked like it was going. Yeah. Nice spacing from Bobby. Okay. Nice the crouch cancel. Just gets a dash attack though. Yeah, I like the dash attack choice though because I think yeah. forward smash actually might have been a little bit too slow to punish there. So. And if you're gonna put Luigi somewhere, the air is probably a good place. Yeah. That being Bobby. said, Vist has found his way down pretty easily. Yeah, Bobby uh, manages to even the stocks up, but it just kind of looks like Vis has had this slight upper hand this whole game. Uses the cloud. Randall to the rescue. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of big. He's getting some good damage. Yeah, but ooh, don't want to trade with that Nair. Cloud's not here this time. Oh, okay. And, yeah, Bobby okay, so again, the smart choice. Yeah, suddenly like three or four Firebird recoveries in a row after like none for the first couple games. Right. Okay. Oof. All right, and yeah, a lot of these trades are going very much in Vis' favor. Yeah, Bobby's got to try to avoid the trades and try to just beat the moves clean if possible, or as I said earlier, just wait for them to end, punish afterward, because Luigi does have an insane amount of priority in there. It's hard to beat out a lot of mo Luigi's moves in the air directly. Mm -hmm. And his raw knockback is so high that on a stage like Yoshi's, like, you don't even have a chance to make it back. Yeah. Yeah. And Luigi's just going to be fine. He'll just side B for three years till he ends up back on the stage again. Right. So we'll see if Viz can continue the slight upper hand he's had all game, but Bobby has definitely brought this back to very winnable. Really well-spaced chop. Ends up earning Viz his way out of the corner. Mm. Viz has missed a couple of wave dashes, though, which could have led to a lot more. Okay. Oof. Yep. So Bobby... Playing a very basic mix-up game there, where it's either am I gonna dare or am I gonna wait for a second, mm -hmm. and then that's sort of like uh, what happens when you're below Luigi, where it's like, is he gonna throw out an attack or not? Right, right. So you like bait the dare, then maybe he tries to do an anti-air move or to avoid you, mm -hmm. and then once you see that, you can take advantage, either get down or directly punish him for uh, whiffing. 
Yeah. Bobby Deck actually did find his first lead of the game a minute ago, but this has kind of pulled it back. And up throw. Good DI from Bobby. Making it impossible for Vis to follow up. Oh man, Bobby. Scary dash dances there. Oh, and down smash. Not quite going to do it. Yeah, I was thinking like F smash might have KO'd, and then I was thinking I have no idea what side Falco is going to land on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vist, up two games to one. Um, all three games kind of felt like it could have gone in any direction. Right, right. So, yeah. I mean. I think since game one, it looks like Vist has kind of kind of figured something out in the neutral. He's getting more consistent openings than he was in game one. And that's obviously leading to a lot for him. Yeah, I think Bobby's, like, really trying to make each hit hurt. And Vist has been able to, like, wiggle his way out of those situations so often. Right. Like, he's not just, like, spamming the air on his way down. He's, yeah, like, no. slowly working his way back to neutral. And despite him, like, not having the highest edge guard rate because Bobby's uh, recoveries have been incredible, mm -hmm. it's still not enough. <laughs> yeah. The, still not enough. The crazy thing is if you see a Luigi with this percentage of successful edge guards, it's, which is not very high, maybe, you know, 20%, 30%, that usually means the Luigi is losing to the Falco. But this is up here 2-1 in the set. So he's definitely made it work despite a, a couple of missed edge guards. This time should be easy, though. Mm -hmm. Last time in that situation, Randall was there to save Bobby, but uh, just a little too late. It's one of my favorite uh, late tournament winners when he sort of like vaults over it. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Oop. Shield drop bear, able to clinch the stock for Bobby. Yeah. Just as you mentioned, a very evenly contested set overall so far. Very, very back and forth. Barely seeing any leads of more than one stock at a time. Yep, I think that was a really strong tech chase punish. Vist still going. Wow, and Bobby that was so ballsy to land on the cloud and get those two lasers on stage. The, I mean, cause that was so cool. how much do those <laughs> lasers really do for you? And he does it again. Like, I'll, like, get, I'll take that free laser. Yeah. I mean, I, I respect it, but I, the risk reward doesn't seem there. <laughs> I mean, if you know you're going to hit it, yeah, then, yeah. then maybe it's there. It looks like something that he practices, to be fair. So, Yeah, laser from the ledge. Mm -hmm. To Randall. Yeah, on to Randall. It's a... The other one was, like, not from the ledge, though. It was like he could have been anywhere. He was just floating out in space right. and shot two lasers. <laughs> okay. Definitely couldn't see Randall below himself, so that was just good knowledge. And again, just such an even set overall. Yeah. Ooh. Now, this maneuvering his way around all of the lasers ends up getting a strong hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're finally seeing some rolls. We didn't see him, like, pretty much all set from Vist. Okay. Back here, and the forward air, that's going to do it. Vist on the verge of moving into winner's finals here at the finals of the Xanadu Championship Series. Yeah, a lot more lasers and a, a little bit slower pace from Bobby in this, like, last situation, starting mm -hmm. with the second-to-last stock. We'll see if it continues. Yeah, and against a player as good at picking his spots as Vist, I don't know if that's what you want to do as Bobby, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Obviously, generally speaking, that works out well for Falco when he sort of shoots lasers and, and forces the opponent to approach, but Vist is just so good at figuring out what time to approach that you're kind of just giving him more opportunities to take his time and figure it out. And Bobby picking it, picking the pace back up, though. Yeah, once again, we keep saying it's an even game, even game. There's another one. <laughs> yeah. Any big hit could do Ooh. it. The edge guard, this could be huge. Yeah, and again, yeah. Vist leaving the edge open, not trying to risk anything. Yeah, at this point, this stage of the game, uh, you're, you're at a winning percent. Mm -hmm. Ooh, get up attack. Bobby finds edge, though. Yeah, and Vist coercing him off of it in a way that does not leave Bobby on a platform. Hard to get back. Oh, man. Here. I thought he might go go out for that. Dare gets the forward air, and this time, oh, okay. So, yeah, very smart from Vist. Throughout the whole set, he had kind of been leaving the edge open, and mm -hmm. then just on the very last edge guard, stays on the edge, gets the win, and moves into winner's finals.